Hi everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this nice bonnet looking thing. It's like a long bonnet but it's great for braids. So I had my braids done yesterday and this is perfect for it. The reason why this one is different from the rest you've seen before is that it's very flat in front so it's not going to be aggressive on your edges and then it has the elastic at the back to keep it firm on your head. So if you want to know how to make this, let's do it together. The first thing that you need is to fold your fabric in a rectangular way where one side folds to be 20 inches and the other side is 28.5 inches. That is, if it was not unfolded, it was going to be 40 inches by 28 inches. Now I'm working with the black satin lining and the original satin lining, the colorful one. The next thing is to find the midpoint of the upper side of your folding and then you find the midpoint of the side of your folding so the 28.5 inches that we needed at first has a one inch seam allowance so that means the midpoint of your side would be 13.5 inches because the extra 1.5 inches or so is just for seam allowance so the main the main the main part is 27 inches so you just find the midpoint which is 13 or 13.5 inches on the side and at the lower part also you pick the middle now the next thing is to join all this point together you join the first point by a nice smooth curve i'm using my free ad right now because i don't know if my curve will do a great job so you see that free hand will actually really work for it and then i just join the other side also with a nice smooth curve so it looks like i'm drawing the shape of a sleeve if you've seen my sleeve pattern tutorial you know that the sleeve looks somewhat like this okay so after i finish doing that i'm just going to cut out this line i'm gonna cut it out and you see that the cutting is affecting both the colorful satin as it's also affecting the black satin that i put under it so i'm trying to cut both of them at once you see work smart and don't work too hard <laughs> this is me working smart <laughs> because i'm cutting the two fabrics at the same time if you have any issue with that you're on your own i'm working smart it's no laziness it's working smart all right so after doing that you see that i'm just going to squeeze i'm showing you out with what it looks like the front is flat and the back is squeezed up that's where the elastic is going to be so to know the part that is going to be flat you're just going to measure from one ear to the other here mine is about 11 inches so that's 11 inches divided by two since my fabric is on fold so that will be 5.5 inches so i'm going to mark that 5.5 inches because that is where my elastic is going to start all the way to the back of my fabric and the front where the fold is is going to be the flat side if you have any questions so far don't forget to leave it in the comment section because i'm here for you all right so the next thing is to just sew the upper part together with a nice uh, 0 0.5 seam allowance and then i just left this tiny little space here it is for turning you know we always turn these things inside out so that space is for turning whatever we sew from the cap okay so after doing that this is what it looks like when we turn it inside out so the next thing is to just take the bottom of our sewing the very bottom and then sew all the way from that bottom from the flowery or from the pattern satin sew that line all the way down to the black satin as well so the bottom of it to the bottom of the black so from one bottom of the one side of the satin to the other bottom of the other side of the satin now after sewing that what we're gonna have is this we just i just started with the 0 0.5 inches seam allowance the next step is to take the bottoms again and then sew that side together right side on right side so you see i'm just taking the seam at the bottom that seam the seam part and then i'm going to face it to the same part of the uh, colorful pattern so the same part of the black one is going to face that seam joining of the colorful one and i'm going to make them that right side is going to face each other and then i'm going to stitch all around it and leave a two inch seam allowance also because we'll need that seam allowance to pass the elastic that is going to be at the bottom of our bonnet cap so after sewing that this is what we are going to have and we're just we have the tiny space right here for the elastic now we're going to go back to the two 
inch space that we put at the top that's that small space is the salvation of the entire bonnet you know from that tiny space the entire bonnet is saved because we can now turn all our ad work inside out and cover all the irregular stitching or the funny stitching that we did inside the bonnet okay so now i turned it inside out with the tiny stitch and we have this you see the down part and we have the upper parts both of them having like two inches salvation on either end of the bonnet so the next thing we're going to do is to sew a 1.25 inches seam round about the top of the bonnet now you can use 1.25 1.5 2 inches depending on the width of your elastic my elastic is one inch wide and that is why i'm using 1.25 so if yours is like 1.5 inches wide use 1.75 so the only thing there is just to add extra 0.25 inches so your elastic will sit very well in the tunnel of your um, of your bonnet okay so now i'm gonna take it to the sewing machine now and sew it I just sewed the 1.25 inch round about it. Next thing is to measure 5.5 inches, which was the length from one year to one year for me. It could be different for you. So I'm going to, after measuring that, I'm going to just mark the 5.5 inches because that's where my elastic is going to start from and end on the other side. Okay, so my elastic length that I would advise is to use, I would advise you to use seven inches. I used longer than that and I did not like it. It was a little bit free. So use seven inches elastic and you pass it through the two inch uh, space that you left earlier that's two inches space i used to turn everything that's what you are going to use to pass the elastic so i passed the elastic and i sewed it on that mark that i made earlier and i'm going to just pass it to the other mark that i made on the other side of my cap so i'm trying to turn i'm trying to push the elastic through to the very end so i can remove my pin you see me i've removed my pin now i'm going to gently move my elastic to the mark that i marked earlier and then i'm just going to sew right on there so that is the, the way to put your elastic at the back of the bonnet after doing that i'm just trying to stretch out the elastic and make it smooth at the back you know to give it a nice finish and then i'm going to go to the bottom of my bonnet and then i'm going to just sew 0 0.5 inch round about that bottom that 0 0.5 inch is just a tunnel to put my elastic for the bottom of the bonnet because that is where your braid is going to come out from especially because you don't want to, it to curl up or lose the texture or the curls that it has you no know, whatever kind of braid that you put in so that particular place is just so the braids can come out easily and they can breathe or whatever <laughs> okay so the elastic for the bottom you're going to need about seven inches of elastic as well so just take seven inches of elastic and then with a tiny uh office pin i'm going to just pass the elastic right into the little tunnel that i made for it and then i'm going to just sew down the elastic together like so you can tie it up if you have enough elastic to tie up i just wanted to just sew it because my elastic was feeling a little short but you can use seven inches instead of the six inches that i used now after sewing it together i just put the elastic back in nicely and then i'm just going to stitch the opening that i made in the beginning now you can stitch it you can unstitch it you can use your sewing machine but the sewing machine is so much easier so i just use the sewing machine to sew right on top of that and then we have the nice squeeze or puff at the bottom of our uh cap and now this is me just wearing the cap it looks so good my braids are going to pray for me and so if you want your braids to pray for you you should probably make this kind of bonnet for yourself and this looks good if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up share to your friends make sure you subscribe to my channel it's been wonderful serving you see you next time bye